Yeah, well, just moments ago, protesters chanting the name of Dante Wright. Now, many of these protesters not showing up alone, rather with a bicycle as they plan to make a loud statement as they'll ride here throughout the city. They actually left here from the Barclay Center just moments ago. But the question that many of them are asking themselves tonight is what will it take for the black community to stop dying at the hands of police? Like it's time for us to, to defend ourselves. You know, there's only so many times you allow somebody spinning your face without fighting back. And I think it's enough time for us now to fight back. Stick together and fight back. Yeah, riders showing up one by one from all corners of the borough to stand in solidarity with Dante Wright's family, his community, and everyone outraged by the shooting incidents impacting the black community. Now, today's protest follows Sunday's shooting incident where 20-year-old Dante Wright was shot by a police officer in Minnesota during a traffic stop. Now, authorities say police officer Kim Potter attempted to fire a taser but accidentally fired a gun instead. Now, many people here tonight tell me they are simply tired of seeing this same narrative happened over and over again. And I spoke with one Brooklyn mother and just listened to what she had to say. He called for his mom and she couldn't do anything. George Floyd called out for his mom. She couldn't do anything. And my biggest fear is that my son is going to call me and I'm not going to be able to do anything. So with that being said, I'm going to walk and march and I just want my son to live. That's all. Phil, you've been out there for some time. What was the mood there among protesters before they headed out, obviously, for that ride? Yeah, well, just there is much sadness, there is much anger, but protesters tell me they will not let up until real change is made. Jess? Phil, thank you.